This bill places advanced nuclear reactor technology onto the state's clean energy plan. About a year ago, uh, a delegation from the Democratic Republic of Congo met with the Tri-City Regional Chamber of Commerce. At that time, I was the Government Affairs Director, and I had the pleasure of meeting with them for about five hours on a Friday afternoon um, at the request of someone in the chamber that will remain unnamed. Um, we had a great, great day together and went far into the evening. And their top concerns were, um, they talked about energy. 41% of their population in urban areas do not have electricity. And only 1% of their population does have electricity in rural areas. This was their main problem. They're worried about um, health and poverty and um, access to schools and all of the things that come with electricity that we here in the United States take for granted. Uh, we, we had a, a lovely conversation about how we could do this and how they could work to this end while still continuing to save their ecosystems and their rich biodiversity. Um, so the topic led to then advanced nuclear reactors and how we've come a long way from the 80s. And I, I was raised in the 80s, so, so I, you know, talking about VCRs and we played Pac-Man and I learned um, uh, MS-DOS on the computer in high school. And, and we've come a long way from the technology of the 80s. And this is no longer your grandfather's reactor. These are advanced technologies like liquid metal and molten salt and helium. And these reactors are now small and, and they're even portable and micro reactors that can be taken all over the world. We have this opportunity for safe, clean, deep decarbonization in what we have in new technology. Uh, and it's exciting because it, it allows for this baseload power that is not um, intermittent and it, it, it supplies us with a clean, um, reliable, dispatchable energy that, again, is, uh, helps us reach our CETA goals for the state of Washington. Not, not just the state of Washington, but we truly can be leaders in this um, and show the world the possibilities of what energy and clean energy can do for them. And um, with that, uh, I urge your support and yes vote on, on this bill. Speaker's about to open the roll call machine. Speaker has opened the roll call machine. Has every member voted? Representative Orcutt. Does any member wish to change their vote? The speaker is about to lock the roll call machine. The speaker has locked the roll call machine. Will the clerk 